Okay, so there's a lot of things that a babysitter is supposed to do. Like, for example, take care of you, make sure you're feeling all right. But making sure that you take a shower and then showering with you is something that a babysitter shouldn't do. And honestly, we'll get more into it. But before that happens, make sure you guys press that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Seriously, it means a lot when you guys do and honestly changes my life and the channel. But other than that, let's just jump straight into this insane story. Yo, what is going on, you guys? My name's Bubba and welcome back to a really embarrassing story. So today's story all takes place back when I was in grade eight. And in grade eight, I'm not gonna lie, I was a really stubborn kid. So stubborn to the point where my parents really did not like taking care of me and they ended up leaving me with a babysitter. Now, I knew this babysitter already. She's babysat for me before. I'm not, and I'm not gonna lie to you, she was just some basic 17 year old that would just take care of me. And I remember one time she ended up coming over after my parents both had to go on a work trip together. And basically she ended up having to stay for three days. Now, I remember when she first came, she kind of just looked at me and shrugged but at the same time she was 17 so as a teenager i'm gonna be real with you i don't think teenagers should actually be babysitters like i feel like teenagers are not good babysitters at all because they're still hitting puberty and as a kid you're hitting puberty and two people hitting puberty together and going through really weird things together is not a good idea to make one of them in charge but going on though she was a lot older than me and she basically was supposed to babysit me so i remember when she first came in she just like i said looked at me and went to go on her phone and basically talk to all her friends as for me, well, the only thing I knew how to do back when I was in grade eight was to play video games. So I ended up going upstairs, playing on my Xbox 360, and just sat there playing games the entire time. Now, I remember throughout these three days, she would only check on me like once a day, and she would not feed me, she would not do anything, and to be honest, she acted like I wasn't even there half of the time. Like, for example, when I came downstairs to get like a granola bar or anything to eat, she would just look at me and just shrug and then just go back to being on her phone. It's actually mind-blowing how often people can stay on their phones for and how how long they can stay on their phones for because it is severely toxic now i remember it got to a point where it was on the third day and on the third day i remember she ended up basically like kind of started i guess getting worried about me and me i was just in my room yelling and swearing like you know a bunch of slurs at people on call of duty black ops 2 yeah i was one of those people and let's be real here back in 2014 things were a lot different with everyone being so well, i mean soft i guess and basically i remember as i was like yelling and stuff over the xbox microphone at people online out of nowhere i remember my babysitter ends up coming up the stairs and saying bro why are you being so loud like can't you be any louder i'm in the middle of a game still like just be quiet baba like you can't just be yelling all the time and i remember as she was yelling at me she ended up taking a big sniff of my room and she noticed how it was a mess in there like there were banana peels everywhere there were wrappers there were like mcdonald's cups because she got super lazy to make actual food so she ordered mcdonald's for me babysitter of the year eh, maybe i don't know mcdonald's is convincing but going on and she saw basically how my room was an absolute mess so i remember as i was playing games she ended up basically starting to clean my room and she was cleaning my room and kept yelling at me over and over and then i remember as one time she ended up walking past me and she took a big whiff of my head and she noticed that i smelled worse than the boys locker room i smelled terrible like it got to the point where i'm not gonna lie to you my hair was super greasy i was super disgusting and to be honest, like my hands, like they felt gross. Me at the time, since I was in grade eight, I didn't really care for my hygiene. I'm gonna be honest with you. Like it got to points where in my gaming life, I would even like just pee in a bottle. Like I've gotten to that point. If you haven't peed in a bottle, are you really a gamer? Anyways, going on with the story, I remember basically she noticed that I smelled really bad and she looked at me and said, Bubba, take a shower. You can't tell me what to do. Uh, Bubba, yeah, I can. I'm your babysitter. Now go take a shower. No, I don't want to. Bubba, I'm serious. This is not a joke go take a shower or I'll make you. What do you mean you'll make me? At that point, she ended up going downstairs and unplugging the internet. And at that point, I was mad. Like, I am not joking, guys. Like, I was so upset to the point where I remember I walked up to her and said, oh yeah, why don't you take a shower? You smell bad too, loser. And this is where the story gets really, really awkward. Because I remember me and her, what ends up happening is that she ends up grabbing my wrist and dragging me to the bathroom. She drags me to the bathroom. She ends up basically forcing me to hop into the shower. And I'm like, fine, I'll take a shower. But like I said earlier, I was a really stubborn kid. So what ended up happening was I ended up sitting down on my toilet and I basically started playing video games. I just sat down and started playing games on my phone. It's crazy on how many devices you can play video games on nowadays. I remember when I was playing games on my phone, she ended up like leaving for like 20 minutes. But when she came back, she ended up hearing through the door that I was just playing Angry Birds. And she got so upset to the point where she walks into the bathroom and says, that's it. That's it. You're taking a shower. I didn't know what she was going to do. Cause like what? She's just going to throw me in there naked. Like she's not 
not allowed to do that. And this babysitter ended up finding my weakness. My weakness to go into the shower. She ended up basically taking off all her clothes in front of me in the bathroom. And she ended up hopping into her shower herself and says, Bubba, this is the one time you get to go into the shower with a girl. Decide if you want to go into it now or later. And at that moment, I'm not going to lie to you. I was convinced. I ended up basically taking off my clothes and also going into the shower. And basically, she ended up taking a shower with me. It's crazy how much fun we were having. Like, it's really cool to like have someone to like rub your back and like, you know, reach the spots that you can never reach and also do a bunch of other things. Cause yes, we ended up doing the devil's tango because she noticed how I got bricked. Yeah. My eggplant got bricked. It's no surprise, but going on, I remember we were in there for like more than an hour and we were wasting a lot of water. But since it was the third day, my parents ended up coming home that day and they came home pretty early when me and her were in the shower still. And this is where the story gets really, really embarrassing because right as me and her get out of the shower, put on our towels and start heading towards my room to get our clothes on, my parents saw me and her come out of the bathroom with the towels on and uh yeah let's just say she got a big talking to now i'm not gonna lie showering with someone was a really good experience but showering with your babysitter maybe was not the smartest thing i ever did i remember she looked at me and said bubba are you not gonna join me in the shower and that's when i ended up taking off my clothes and i went in there with his mom yo what is going on you guys my name's bubba and welcome back to a super embarrassing story and trust me you're gonna want to hear the whole thing i remember this story all takes place back when i was in grade six so i was just entering middle school at this time and i'm not gonna lie to you one of the things i lacked a lot in middle school was me having the best hygiene because back when i was in middle school the only things i cared about was video games pokemon cards and basically anything other than my self-care i guess like i know nowadays we have a lot of like teenagers and guys out there especially in middle school or high school that care a lot about their looks to the point where they make themselves end up looking like a k-pop star or like you know any sort of major celebrity but for me back when i was really young honestly the only thing i cared about was sitting down playing video games in my room for like 12 hours a day and not coming out to even take a shower i'm not gonna lie to you i think i would only shower like two times a week back when i was in grade six so it would make sense why most girls did not like me back when i was in middle school but at the same time like i said i was in grade six I didn't care. But I remember one time I ended up coming home from school one day and I basically ended up walking up to my parents and my parents ended up telling me, Bubba, we're leaving for a little vacation. Uh, we're going to be gone for a week. So we want to know, do you want to stay at your friend's place or do you want to, you know, have a babysitter? Now me back when I was younger, I did not like babysitters whatsoever. Like I really did not want to have a babysitter because obviously if you guys don't know and you guys aren't fans of the channel, I basically did not have the best experiences with babysitters. So what I ended up telling them was oh uh i have a friend i can stay with if that's cool uh he has video games and everything like i could just hang out with him okay well we'll give his mom a phone call and we'll see if she lets you come over i remember like two hours went by and one thing led to another i was actually allowed to go over there for the week and i was super excited the reason i was excited was because my friend at the time back when i was in grade six was a really hardcore gamer and also really rich so knowing this obviously he would have all the latest video games and basically have the newest consoles and everything that I basically did not have back when I was younger. So I remember on Sunday, my parents ended up packing up the car and one thing led to another. They dropped me off at my friend's place to stay with him for the week. Obviously, my friend was super excited about this and me and my friend would always end up staying in his room just playing video games the entire time. I am not joking. There wasn't a time where we didn't come out of his room and well, did something else or even play outside. I guess you could say I grew up in the generation of video games, but I remember one thing was for sure. His mom that was technically taking care of me and my friend at the time would always come into the room saying, Hey, Bubba, I got you some food. Are you hungry right now? Uh, no, I'm good. Thanks. Bubba, I was just wondering, do you want your toothbrush on the left counter or on the right of the sink? Uh, and he's fine. I don't really care. I barely brush my teeth, which is honestly kind of true because nowadays I brush twice a day like the average human should be doing. But back then when I was in like middle school, I would only brush my teeth maybe like once a day and that was in the morning. But going on with the story, I remember this mom of his would always basically be in my hair until i remember one specific day because i remember this was a tuesday and basically me i was supposed to go to school that day but i wasn't really feeling up to it so i ended up skipping school and i remember my friend ended up going to school and basically one thing i would say is that my friend he would take showers every single day like his parents i guess kind of grew him up in the way where hygiene was super important which i wish my parents did with me but to be honest they would make him shower every day and me i really did not care for it and and honestly at this point me not showering for four days i guess really made me have a stench in the house where i'm not gonna lie every time i would smell my 
myself or other people would smell me around that house, they would get kind of disgusted. So I remember when I was laying in my friend's bed and I was just playing on my Nintendo DS, out of nowhere, I ended up seeing his mom come into the room. His mom came into the bedroom saying, hey, Bubba, I made breakfast downstairs, but I really think you should take a shower. So do you think you could maybe go take one real quick for me? Uh, no, thanks. I don't really feel like it. Bubba, but you should shower. I'm not gonna lie. You're starting to stink. Uh, okay. That's fine. It's just normal human scent is what I said back when I was younger. And honestly, it sounds stupid, but let's be real here. I just didn't want to take a shower. I remember she ended up getting really annoyed, but since she wasn't my actual mother, I guess she didn't really have the ability to do anything. Well, until she ended up having the ability, because I remember what happens next honestly was really, really bizarre. I remember it was around like the afternoon and basically around this time, school was definitely over and I was waiting for my friend to come home. So I remember me being really excited to have my friend come home and play video games with me. I ended up basically going down the stairs and I ended up waiting for him at the front door. But as I was waiting for him, kind of just sitting down on the couch that was near the door, his mom ended up coming into the room and saying, oh, Bubba, you're out of bed. Uh, do you think you could maybe now go and take a shower? Uh, no, thanks. I don't really want to take one. But Bubba, you're supposed to take a shower. It's good for you. I don't really feel like it. Bubba, it's not about feeling. It's about your own self hygiene. I remember when she was basically trying to lecture me about taking a shower. I would always just deny it and be in major denial to the point where I'm not going to lie to you. She got super annoyed and super upset to the point where she would start yelling at me. Like, I don't know what kind of mother yells at another person's kid, but it is not a thing to do to anyone's child. I'm just going to say that right now for any parents watching. But obviously I understood where the anger was coming from because I wouldn't take a shower. So me knowing that she got super upset, I remember I ended up running out of there and I ended up running actually to my friend's bedroom and hiding under his bed. I'm not going to lie. I guess you could say it really scarred me, but obviously I'm not going to lie to you. The scarring got even worse because what ends up happening next i gotta say really traumatized me in a way because i remembered back when i was younger i still had like another four days to stay there and i really just did not want to be there anymore so i remember every time i saw his mom walking around the house i would always end up hiding in different places for example the closet or under the dining room table to even hiding behind curtains i would just hide in certain places just so his mom could kind of just lay off and stop telling me to take a shower but then i remember one time i was hiding behind my friend's bed just sitting down on my nintendo 3d Yes. And out of nowhere, and I'm not joking when I say this, I end up seeing his mom holding a towel and she looks at me saying, Bubba, I could smell you from downstairs. You need to come with me right now. She ends up grabbing my wrist and actually dragging me to the bathroom and she ended up throwing me in there and closing the door behind me. And me, like I said earlier, I was really determined not to take a shower because I did not want to shower at their place at all. So I remember what I ended up doing was just sitting on the toilet for like two hours in their bathroom. Honestly, it wouldn't be the first time I was trapped in a bathroom, but I will say this, I did not want to be in there so i would just sit there and just not do anything i guess you could say i was being really over dramatic but what ends up happening next was honestly insane because i remember it ended up becoming like i want to say 6 30 and i really was questioning where in the world my friend was and why wasn't he home yet because i didn't want to be home alone with his mother anymore so i remember i ended up walking up to his mom and i said hey i'm just wondering when is uh my friend coming back oh honey he's coming back way later because he has hockey practice so you're gonna be alone at home with me um okay well i don't know what to do while waiting well maybe you should try taking a shower because you really need one because you're really stinking up the place. I remember I looked at her and I just kind of looked down because I didn't want to reply to what she was saying. And I guess at that moment, that's when her eyes opened wide and she had a different idea of why I didn't want to take a shower. I remember she walks up to me and says, Bubba, I can teach you how to shower if you want. Wait, what? I, I know how to shower. Well, let's just see if that's true then. And I remember she ended up grabbing my hand once again and walking me to the shower. And one thing led to another. I remember she ended up turning on the water and she took off everything. Thing. She took off everything. She ended up hopping into the shower and she started basically washing herself. And one thing led to another. I remember she looked at me and said, Bubba, are you not going to join me? And at that moment, I didn't really know what to do. I felt really peer pressured, but at the same time, me being in grade six, I wasn't the smartest either. And I guess my hormones started to kick in. And well, one thing led to another. I'm not going to lie to you. I ended up taking a shower with his mom. Honestly, I will say this was one of my least proud moments of my life and honestly, super embarrassing. And the fact that I'm telling this to you guys right now, please press that like button because it's super embarrassing. But yeah, I basically ended up taking a shower with his mom and his mom ended up teaching me how to shower and holy cow Can I just say the amount of products that girls use in the shower is honestly bizarre and mind-blowing But I remember me and her we ended up taking a shower and she basically showered me I showered with her and yeah, honestly, i'm not gonna lie to you It was really awkward seeing my friend's mom's cherries But at the same time, I wasn't really complaining and for all of you guys wondering No, I did not do the devil's tangle with my friend's mom because that would be severely illegal And honestly, that is just purely disgusting. I will say after 
after the shower though i ended up smelling super clean and my friend ended up coming home and honestly from the moment he got home i guess his mom started to pretend that nothing happened and me i decided to stay quiet about it because obviously it was super embarrassing like how am i going to tell my own friend that i showered with his mother now every human has a humanly routine for example some people bite their nails some people shave before they get in the shower some people shave in the shower but i've never seen a girl pee in the shower and never again will i want to this story does get intense and kind of crazy so before anything make sure you guys do leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already and on top of that not to mention i'm currently live on twitch so if you guys do want to watch me tell these stories live and have fun with you guys there's the place to go link is down in the description other than that let's get straight into this what is going on you guys my name is bubba and welcome back to another crazy story so today's story funny enough is something that i honestly did not want to tell but in a way i kind of just was reminded of this the other day when i was streaming on twitch and i remember this was the most weirdest thing ever and I, to this day i'm so weirded out but basically i remember back when i was in high school there was this new dating app that came out that was like known for like high schoolers basically and it kind of went like viral all over the place like you can meet chicks on the uk you can meet chicks from all over the world and me being mr worldwide i mean obviously i'm gonna go on that app so i remember i went on that app and i swiped here and there and i met a couple girls but funny enough some of these girls were actually from my hometown and i remember asking them to meet up one time hang out you know all that cool stuff me being in high school you know simple thing it's like going on a tinder date i remember i ended up going to the mall and i met up with one of these girls and this girl was like all right you know she was just a basic girl nothing was wrong with her she didn't seem psychotic you know she had blonde hair she had you know big cherries like she she was like the typical girl i'd usually go for but this is where things get really weird i remember as like we were like walking around and stuff in the mall we went into the store called lush now lush is like a store where it's like you can buy soap bath bombs bazookas not bazookas i'm, I'm joking but you know what i mean like bath bombs and she looks over at one she's like oh my goodness i love bath bombs we should take a bath tonight i look at her and i'm like i'm not even going home with you what like i was just so confused and i remember what ended up happening was that she invited me over and she's like oh like just please come over like we'll try this bath bomb like i'll buy it right now if we go with me and me knowing that i was probably gonna end up going home to a chick and you know doing the devil's tango well this is what i mean by saying yes to things in life i said yes to this and i remember she ended up buying the bath bomb it was like something like pink and rainbowy and i remember we ended up going around the mall even more and she started talking about weird conversations like what are my kinks if i liked feet and like you know all this weird stuff that honestly no one should be asking a normal human especially on the first day of meeting them but then i look at her and i'm like so like what do you want to do she looks at me and she's like you know what like let's just leave the mall and go back to my place right now as she said that she was kind of like putting her fingers around my chest and it was kind of like what i don't know it was ultimately just weird champ andy and i just i didn't know what to think so i remember what ended up happening was we started walking over to her place and as we walked over i remember we ended up going inside her apartment and we got there apparently she lived with her brother but her brother was like never home which i guess in a way was a really good thing and then i remember we started going on her balcony we talked for a bit and then one thing led to another she pulls out the bath bomb in the living room she's like let's go use this she instantly comes over to me and starts making out with me and then she's like let's go into the shower okay sure whatever i'm down like you know i won't say no to that so i remember we ended up you know going all the way to the shower me personally i'd rather go to the bedroom but you know losers can't be choosers and instantly she starts getting you know undressed i get undressed and yes one thing did lead to another we ended up doing the devil's tango before we actually ended up even getting into the shower let's just say i guess things got straight to the point but i remember when we ended up actually eventually getting into the shower which was like 10 minutes later we turn on the water you know we get ready and then i realized that as me and her are like making out i feel something weird and warm going down my leg now at first i'm like okay like what is going on but then i kind of look down and i see that she was literally peeing in the shower when i was with her in there and you guys are probably thinking oh no it's probably just the water you're feeling don't make her like embarrassed no it was definitely her peeing and i'll tell you why because when you turn on a shower it takes like a minute for shower water to go like into like hot water and me knowing that i could literally look down and see yellow urine hitting the floor yeah i hate to break it to you she was definitely peeing i remember i looked at her and i looked down and i'm like oh my goodness like i literally said that i said oh my goodness in front of a chick in the shower this was hilarious and then i remember i ended up literally jumping out of the shower like i literally jumped out of there like i was like a rabbit like a kangaroo for god's sakes and then i remember i literally like moved back and i'm like whoa like you're literally peeing in the shower she looks at me she's like no 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 it wasn't it was just a warm water i don't know what you're saying she's acting like nothing happened yeah right like i know i'm not looking for trouble here people i ended up going into another bathroom at her place because luckily she had two and i ended up washing myself off i'm like ew i'm disgusted i don't even know anymore and then as i cleaned myself off i realized that i left my clothing in the other bathroom so i went back to the other bathroom and i saw she already made a bath for herself and she was about to put the bath bomb in but as i walk in to get my clothes she looks at me she's like hey like do you want to come into the bath now or are you gonna be such a wuss excuse me a wuss you just peed on me like i don't know what she was thinking and then i remember in my head i was thinking you know what it's fine i cleaned it off maybe 
Baby can just go into the bath with her and everything will be fine. Yeah, was I wrong about that? I remember she ended up farting in the bath as I'm literally standing, like, not that far away from it. Like, I literally saw bubbles, guys. I'm not trying to prank anyone here. I'm not trying to lie to anyone here in this video. Like, she literally made bubbles in the pool. She made it a good jacuzzi. Like, I don't even know what to think anymore. I was disgusted. Like, if I could mention, like, a hundred things that grosses me out, I think this was the main thing that grossed me out because in a way, I got to see a girl pee on me and fart in the tub at the same day. Like, at this point, I don't even want to know what she does in public pools. At this point, things were just getting worse to worse to worse and I didn't want to be there anymore. So I got my clothes, I got changed and I started leaving. But as I started leaving, she put on a towel around herself and she walked up to me. She's like, I don't understand. Like, what's wrong with you? And the more I looked at her, don't get me wrong. She had nice cherries and blonde hair. But as she looked at me, she just ended up burping. And I'm like, okay, no, that's the final straw. That's the final straw. I don't want to see this anymore. I literally told her, listen, I don't think it's the best for us to talk and stuff. And I ended up leaving that place. As I left, I remember she messaged me on that dating app thing again. She's like, hey, like, maybe we can try again. Like, honestly, like, I understand, like, if things aren't good for you right now, like, I don't know. She was just trying to make some dumb excuse or something for me not being there. And I'm gonna be honest, the only reason I wasn't there was because, well, I was grossed the hell out. But other than that, girls, boys, anyone watching this damn video, please understand that you guys should not pee on anyone. No matter if you pee in the shower, like, I know a lot of you guys that are watching this video do pee in the shower, but just don't. Don't do it when someone else is there, okay? I, I don't care. Just don't do it. Other than that, guys, that is basically it for the story. Make sure you guys do leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already, because seriously, it means a lot when you guys do. And on top of that, like I usually say, I'm currently live on Twitch, so if you guys do want to watch me live, go ahead on there and watch me. Other than that, like I always say, fall for more embarrassing stories. Peace out, guys.